Well, with the whole lodge into a middle ages frame of mind as usual, I thought I would take this week's handyman corner and build something that's appropriate for the age of chivalry. Remember that uh, television show, Robin Hood? Man, I love that. You know what I love the best? The way they would send messages through the woods by attach them to an arrow and then shoot them, thwack, into a tree or a peasant's back. <laughs> and I'm thinking, why don't we use that same technology to be able to send, say, packages and parcels through the woods? Sort of a courier du bois. <laughs> if that makes you Blanche, then maybe you're a Blanche du bois. <laughs> or a TV critic. <laughs> All right, first thing you're gonna need is a pole vault pole to use as your bow. Now, uh, I got this from the Possum Lake School, but uh, you can get one for free just by standing right next to the pole vault event itself, because as the guy goes over, he'll always let go of the pole, and you can just grab it there, and you'll be miles away by the time he comes to when he lands on the ground there, because the cushion got moved, you know, by somebody. <laughs> now, you're gonna need some kind of a, a bow string to go on this thing. Uh, you could use a rope or, uh, or a garden hose or anything, but I suggest uh, fan belts out of your car, or better yet, fan belts out of your friends' cars. <laughs> sure, they're gonna be a little bit ticked when they find out that the cars are boiling over all the time, but on the other hand, vehicles don't belong in the Middle Ages anyway. Except maybe Buster's Edsel. <laughs> now we're gonna need an arrow for this whole rig. I suggest a shovel. Especially if you're gonna be sending government documents. <laughs> all right, now I know what you're thinking. How is one guy gonna be able to work this huge bow and arrow and thing all by himself? <laughs> That's a little surprise I've been saving for you. I'm not just building a bow. I'm building a crossbow. <laughs> All right, now, uh, with the boat trailer, you get the perfect angle for launching. And with her mounted on wheels here, you have the full 390 degree range for aiming. <laughs> All right, now what you do is uh, get yourself a piece of rope like that, tie it to the bow line like I've done here, and then just uh, hook your winch right on there and crank her back. to kind of adapt the handle of the shovel so that she'll hook onto the bow line. I'll just pull that out of there. No, 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 I don't. <laughs> there we go. Now we got to attach something to the shovel to carry the parcels and what have you. Now you could use a lunch pail, you could use a bread box. I prefer a bed pan. It's light, it's aerodynamic, and it prepares the receiver for bad news. <laughs> no news is good news. <laughs> All right, now, I'm just gonna aim this up to Braxton's Marina there, and, uh, cause I got this electronic ignition that I have to return, or pay for it. <laughs> All right, now, to send our package, all I have to do is cut the twine. And you know what you could do is tie a spool of thread onto the shovel there, and you can actually trace your package. <laughs> so there we have it. The Possum Lake Medieval Courier Service when it absolutely has to get there over water. <laughs> Remember, women don't find you handsome, and I'm guessing they don't. They should at least find you handy. Four. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. <laughs> hey, Red Green here with a brand new one-man show. That last one wasn't a complete disaster, so we've decided to try it again with new stories, new jokes, new advice, and whatever else it is that I do. It's the How to Do Everything Tour, and it's going to start right here in Canada this coming fall. So get a couple of tickets for yourself, or you know, it would make a dandy gift for a friend or a relative. To get all the details, go to redgreen.com and click on the How to Do Everything Tour. Meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>